Hello friends, I am Ashwin and in this video I am going to show you an amazing chess game played by Frank James Marshall against Amos Bunn. The game was played in 1905. In this game, Frank Marshall had a white pieces. He began the game with e4, e5, knight f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, bishop c5 and c3 and we have Italian game on the board. Here black played knight to f6, d4, e captures on d4, c takes on d4 and bishop to a b4 check. In this position of course white can play this uh, bishop to d2 which keeps the pawn on e4 and this is a very quiet variation. I mean black can play this uh, bishop capture d2, knight capture d2 and uh, just pawn to d5 and everything is you know okay. But anyways in the game after bishop to b4 check white played this king to f1. The idea is to sacrifice the e4 pawn in order to open up this uh, e file for white's rook to use knight capture on e4 was played and now d5 attacking the knight and knight to e7 was played in case of uh, knight to f5 attacking this bishop a uh, black will lose this knight uh, just like uh, say bishop to d3 attacking the knight say knight to f6 and now a3 attacking the bishop say bishop e7 and now b4 wins the uh, knight on a5 so after d5 knight to e7 was played and now queen to d4 attacking this uh, knight on F, uh, e4 knight to f6 and now bishop to g5 attacking knight once more so bishop capture f6 is a threat so knight to g6 uh, defending this knight and now knight b to d2 h6 and now first rook to e1 checks and uh, of course here if you play bishop to e7 but then uh, bishop capture f6 pawn captures on f6 and queen captures on f6 is just good for white so after rook e1 Black played this king to f8 and now bishop to d3. Uh, so threat is queen captures on b4 in case of pawn captures on g5. Say pawn captures on g5 then queen captures b4 check followed by knight captures on g5 is just good for o white. So after bishop to d3 uh, black played this uh, bishop to e7 and meantime in case of bishop captures on d2 and then bishop captures on d2 and white would be having two bishop advantage. But anyways, bishop to d3 and bishop to e7 was played and here bishop captures on g6 was played. h captures on g5. In case, uh, say f captures on g6 and then white can continue the game with uh, knight to e5 which is similar to the main course of the game. So after bishop to g6, h captures on g5, marshal played this knight to e5. This sacrifice this bishop on g6 in order to launch mating attack against uh, a black's king. Here pawn captures on g6 was played and now knight captures on g6 check king to f7. Uh, say in case of uh, a king to just g8 then knight captures on e7 check is just good for white. So after king to f7 Marshall played rook captures on e7 and here nothing better than queen captures on e7 giving up the queen but in the game black just uh, took the knight on g6 and this leads to checkmate very soon here comes this queen to d3 check and after king to h6 h4 so now threat is pawn captures on g5 g4 was played this leads to checkmate in 4 h5 threatening checkmate on g6 so knight captures on h5 but now queen to f5 so threatening this uh, queen captures on h5 checkmate g6 but uh, queen f4 check and now g5 is forced followed by this queen to f6 is just checkmate so friends how was the game thanks for watching bye bye